What's up everybody on YouTube, Justin here, Side Hustle Pro. I uh, haven't done a video in a while, and I feel like the last few videos I've done, I've started off with, I haven't done a video in a while. Anyway, here we are uh, recording from my uh, iPod because my holder thing for my phone broke, and so it's like, I've just got one of those like tilted uh, cases for it, so the angle's sort of weird, but whatever, we'll make, we'll make it happen, right? So, um, I just want to share with you a couple updates, um, what I've been doing and some things that I sold, uh, today. Um, yeah. And hopefully you can, you can get an idea of, um, you know, around how much you can make, uh, from certain items and, and, you know, obviously just multiply that by however many, uh, you know, those items you can get, like if you want to make a thousand dollars, you know, a week and you make $10 an item, we got to sell a hundred of those a week. Right. So anyway, ho hopefully this will help you in some way, shape or form. Um, I just want to say, first of all, that I, um, after this video, I'm going to mow grass, right? It's that time of year and it's starting. Finally, I know my bank account wants me to get out there and mow. I'm not really excited too much. Um, well, I'm sort of split. I I'm ready to get going, get outside, get the money. Um, it sort of sucks though after you work, you know, 7.30 to 3 and then, and then you go do it. Um, so, but anyway, that's what I'm going to go do after this. I'm going to pack some things up here, uh, ship them, and then go get mowing, right? And then come home and list. Uh, so, I have been, well, a few things. One, I've been getting more into the retail arbitrage um, side of selling clothing specifically. I've done a lot of a RA retail arbitrage um, with toys, um, electronics, and stuff like that. I uh, never thought about doing it with clothes too much, but I've been doing it with shoes, hitting places like uh, Burlington, Marshalls, um, even like Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack sometimes, Nike outlets, stuff like that. Um, well, I haven't been to Nike outlet yet, but it's, it's on my list of, of things to do. Anyway, so I, I'm liking those because even if you have like like uh, a, a death pile like or a to-do pile, right, to-do pile, I don't know why I'm doing air quotes. Anyway, even if you have a, uh, a to-do pile, you get the shoes, um, they, they go fast, right, because they're new. Uh, the process uh, of listing them is fast anyway. They're new. Um, you don't have to do any measurements. Anything you don't have to do any measurements with, you know, it's going to be listed a lot quicker. You know, as a matter of fact, some of the stuff that I don't have listed is because I'm like, I just don't feel like measuring it. You know, it just, anyway, and I get all built up in my head like it's going to suck so bad. But you know, I can pump out a lot per hour, really, if I just sit down and do it. Um, so, anyway, uh, it's enough jabber, I guess. I've been hitting my death pile pretty hard. Um, I got all of my pants slash jeans listed. Now I'm working on shirts. I think I have like 12 more pictures to take. And then I have probably like 20 suits and maybe like 10 or 15 blazers. Um, and then a lot of little odds and ends like uh, little video games and handheld games and video games and just little odds and ends, stuff like that. So I'm getting ready to move and I'm just trying to get all that together before, before I get, uh, before I move. Um, also with the move, I'm going to want to be doing a new inventory system. I'm to the point now where I can't just throw stuff in a corner and be like, oh yeah, it's over there somewhere, right? So I need to be more efficient with that. Okay, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get to the, uh, the items sold. Five items that I sold on eBay for profit. Uh, most of these are pants, all right? So let's just go through them. Uh, let's do it in the order that I haven't written down here. All right, um, I'll try to make this sort of quick just because I'm in a hurry. But I do, I do want to show you what the uh, what the brands look like um, and that kind of stuff. All right, so first thing, um, Jinko jeans. These are vintage Jinko jeans. All right, this is a small size. It's a 3230, right? And if you look at them, they're a little wrinkled. They're older. They got a wide, wide leg though. Now these are from like the 90s, right? When I was growing up, Jinko was pretty popular with certain. Um, like uh, clicks, I guess, or certain types of people. Um, the, some of the legs like were really, really big, like the mammoths, the kangaroos, and stuff like that. This is just the regular crown, just a Jinko crown, just your standard carpenter pants uh, set of jeans. Paid five bucks for it at the thrift store. Um, I sold these for thirty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Uh, they listed, they sold within a week. I mean, it took a couple of days. Uh, 
sold them. They didn't really have a lot of these kind listed or even under solds. And the ones that were sold were like, some of them were 50, some of them were 25, some of them were like 30. So, you know, I just said 35. You know, 35, get them out the door. Cost me six bucks to ship. Anyway, should make about $19 on this. Well, $6.90 is the flat rate. So paid five, sold for 35, seven to ship, 19 bucks in a fast flip. Um, buckle is BK, BKE. Anytime you see BKE, uh, it stands for buckle, right? And it's a thick stitch um, pocket here. Now, anytime you do like buckle jeans or silver jeans for women or anything like that, or any kind of jean really, uh, American Eagle even, it depends on the cut, right? Some cuts are more desirable than others. This is a Tyler 32R. BKE Tyler Denim 32R, um, thick stitch in the back there, the pockets, uh, there's the front of them, and even if they're not perfect, right, like this has, I mean these are distressed, but I, that's like an odd marking on the front there, right, it's not paint or anything, it's like a distress, but I don't know if that'll come out or what, I, I disclosed it in the photos. Um, got lucky, paid five dollars for this. Some of the goodwills and thrift stores around here will see BKE, and then they'll want to charge you like twenty bucks or whatever. But this was on the normal rack, five bucks. Uh, sold it for twenty-eight. Going to be seven to ship. Make about thirteen dollars. Um, so spend five and uh, get back twenty-eight, profiting thirteen. So that's like you know me giving you five dollars and you giving me back eighteen. So I'll do that. I'll do that all day. And again. All of these jeans, actually, I just listed. It's Friday, so I, I listed the jeans, like, I think, like, Monday and Tuesday. So all of these sold within, you know, a few days. Um, Levi's. Uh, Levi's was sort of becoming bread and butter for me, uh, learning a, um, which, uh, which styles to look for, um, you know, what numbers to look for. These are Levi 527s. Um... I forget what kind of fit 527 is, and I'm not, I'm not even going to say what I think of this because I don't want it to be wrong and then mess you up. Um, but anyway, the 527 sell pretty decent, 36, 32, just a dark wash Levi 527. Uh, I picked up three of these, right? Um, so the same person probably donated them or whatever. But anyway, I picked them up for five, sold them for 25, seven bucks a ship, make ten bucks, and that's that's sort of a nice model, you know. If I could pick it up for five. And sell it for 25 or pick it up for 10 and sell it for 30 and make about 10 bucks you know especially if it's a fast flip like that you, you know like like if you're just gonna sell one pair of jeans on ebay right if you're like oh i'm just looking into ebay why would i just you know spend this time to find jeans and sell it for ten dollars that doesn't make a lot of sense unless you plan on doing this like a business or running it as like a um, like a steady source of income because you think about that ten dollars that you make uh, if you do that say five times a day you know and then so that's 50 bucks a day. If you do that seven times a week, or even if you do that five times a week, um, you know, that's 250. That's a thousand extra dollars a month. So they're nice to fill in there. Um, also, this was a pretty sweet find. Uh, this is Ralph Lauren Polo. Uh, it's the Heritage, or no, I'm sorry, the Hampton. The Hampton Straight Fit. Uh, it was a size 4432, right? And um, brand new. Distressed, uh, factory distressed, uh, a little bit on the hems there, factory distressing, um, light distressing, dark wash. I uh, picked that up for well, $6, right? And it even has the tag still on it for what the retail, the retail on this is $125, right? Um, so I picked it up for 6 And again, this was at the Goodwill, and I'm glad that Whoever was pricing that day didn't catch it and then try to charge you 30 bucks for it. So, paid six for it, um, ships for seven, and I'm going to make $26.78, so about 27 cents. Um, and that's real nice, right? Like, we'd like to do that all the time. Spend five, list it, sell it in two or three days, and get $25 you know, dollars profit off of it. Wouldn't that be nice if we did it all the time? But, at least for me, that doesn't happen all the time. Uh, but Ralph Lauren Polo, and you got to be careful with like uh, the Ralph Lauren Polo jeans usually will sell pretty decent, but like I said, it just depends on the condition and the and the cut, the size, um, you know, the style and that kind of stuff, quality. Um, but you know, if you can pick them up for a dollar or five dollars even, 
Uh, it's pretty safe to say that jeans, if you pick them up for five, you can find some for 25 regardless of the cut. You know, but you want to do your research on that. Um, last thing that I want to show you are um, uh, shoes. These are SAS, San Antonio Shoe Company. You can see the SAS. This is like a taupe or a beige color. Um, these are like shuffle shoes. I, I hate to I hate to say that um, and be you know like offensive to anybody, but um, anytime I go to a nursing home, <laughs> like there was this free breakfast at the Eagles, and like all these uh, like older retired people would go there. Anytime you're around retired people, you're gonna <laughs> buy some SAS shoes. Um, they are really well made though. They're they're good quality shoes. Uh, I believe they're American made. Yep, they're American made. All leather. Tripad comfort is what it says in there. You can see it's got the free time on the tag. You can't see it, but it says free time. It's got the like the weaving on the side here. Um, I paid five for these, five or six. I paid five or six for these, um, and sold it for uh, thirty. These were actually listed for twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping. And then I was doing some more research. You know, uh, it was time to relist them. It's been thirty days. I'm going to relist them. And not a lot of them were selling for that, so I just dropped the shipping and just made it $29.99 uh, with free shipping, and they sold like the next day. So spend six, it's going to cost me about seven to sell, make about 14 bucks, right? And I don't know if I told you how much, I was just looking at my notes here, and I think I got them out of order, so I don't remember if I told you that these uh, polos, uh, they sold for 45 I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but spend six, uh, sold them for 45 brand new. Right, so not too bad, not too bad today. I haven't added all this up, but profit wise, I got a 19, a 13, a 10, a 14, and like a 27. Um, and so that's just from like over last night and today. I have been listing a lot more, I'm at currently about 254 items um, on eBay, and I've probably got about uh, 60 things left to list. So my goal is 300, and then you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna set my goals by by 100. You know I'm gonna get to 300, and then I want to get to 400, and then I want to get to 500. Ideally, perfect eBay number for me would be zero in stock, right? I mean, people are always like, well, how much is the ideal amount of items you want in eBay? Well, for me, it's zero because ideally I would get it and then I would sell it right away, right? Get one thing in the store, it's out the door, and then and then I have zero. That would be perfect. Uh, but realistically, that doesn't happen. You know, you get about a one to two percent sell-through rate. So I'd like to have about a thousand items eventually. Um, but maybe not. You know, maybe just keep building. Maybe, maybe just uh, three hundred. Maybe I could just get three hundred, or maybe even two fifty, or where I'm at now. You know, it just depends. Uh, my, but in my a thousand, I think would be would be cool with the sell-through rate that I have. It'd be like ten a day. It'd be about a hundred to three hundred dollars a day, and I think that would be awesome. Uh, but my goal isn't a big store with a lot of items. My, my goal is, you know, quality items, um, with a, with a solid, solid sell through rate. Um, because I mean, I think you can make just as much money with a store that has 300 items as a store that has, you know, 100 or a store that has 200 items as one that has, you know, a thousand. It all depends on your pricing, what you're selling and, and that kind of stuff. So, uh, as far as that goes, um, quality, you know, and, uh, just, just providing good, good deals for people, uh, to get, to get good quality items. Um, and that's it. So I think that's all. Oh, one more thing I did want to share with you. Uh, this is a brand you can look out for. I found one of these, right? It's a jams world. I've been selling clothing now for about, about, oh, geez, I don't know, about two years, maybe like I've done a lot of online reselling before clothing, but, uh, couple years into the clothing business and I've only found one of these jams world they're vintage um, shirt to sell and look these up you know look up the solds on these jams world and I was I was going to to, to get all the uh, the wrinkles out of this thing and look what I found right here this big hole now I don't know how I missed this when I checked it before I bought it after I watched it you know what I mean I don't know how I missed that but anyway I missed it so sadly, you got to get rid of that Jams World shirt. The only one that's fine, and it's Garbo. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I got an Instagram account. Learning that, um, I'll put the link down below. But it's a side underscore hustle underscore pro on Instagram. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram as I'm out 
you know, sourcing and stuff like that. I try to post different things that I find and just try to keep people updated. Just try to try to, you know, uh, stay in the community, the reselling community, help people out, uh, get help myself. So yeah, follow me on Instagram and go ahead and hit the like button for this video. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, I don't really care. Just, you know, hit the up button and hit the thumbs up anyway. It's not going to hurt anything. You can just hit the thumbs up instead of the down. So thumbs up, leave a comment if you like, uh, follow me on Instagram, uh, keep doing your research and keep learning so you can keep earning. And uh, I'm going to go mow some grass, pack this stuff up, get it to the post office, and um, get on with life and keep hustling. So uh, have a good day, guys, and I'll catch you later.